Here we are at the, uh, it's, it's the evening time at the uh, 2011 uh, Toronto Fall Expo and I'm here with uh, uh, none other than Chris Carlin of yeah. Upper Deck and uh, we are we are at in the general vicinity of the of the Upper Deck booth here. Come on. Um, <laughs> so, so part of what Chris is doing is sort of escorting folks through uh, as part of as part of the uh, redemption program. Uh, the kind of redemption program is getting crazy. So yes. we had a huge, huge line, <laughs> yes. and uh, we just had to cut it off uh, for today. We'll have two more days of giving away some pretty amazing priority signing autograph cards. Uh -huh. So uh, people have been going crazy to get Wayne Gretzky, Gordy Howe. Bobby Orr for some of the first uh, autographs of uh, some of the big rookies like Ryan Nugent Hopkins and Gabriel mm -hmm. Landeskog. Yeah. So uh, people have been pretty fired up yeah, about you, what they've been you, you guys are definitely have a reputation for having a great blend of, of the of the new and the legendary yeah. um, in terms of your hockey products. Your 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 it seems like Upper Deck is in its element here in Toronto for sure without question. Being here, I, I think, really makes you realize that uh, the hobby is doing okay. Alive and well. And uh, you see people, young and old, shredding product, male and female, having a great time with things. And that's really what it's all about. So Definitely. that's why it's important for us to be here each year. Definitely. T tell me tell me some, some about um, the other stuff that you guys have going on with the booth. Quite a few things. Uh, this is the first time we're selling some of the Upper Deck authenticated memorabilia. Okay. Uh, we've got an amazing line of new hockey items that we've done. We've got Steven Stamkos, we've got Patrick Kane, Jonathan Taves, P.K. Subban, Taylor Hall, uh, some of the legends like Bobby Orr, but you know some of our other huge spokesmen as well. We've sold a few Jordan pieces at the show so far, uh, LeBron James, so uh, just kind of taking uh, what we do so well with the authenticated memorabilia and, and bringing it up to Canada and letting people have it uh, for the first time, so that's been a lot of fun. Most the other really cool thing is there's such a community aspect that goes with collecting and sometimes there's some negative sides and sometimes there's some really positive sides and we uh, partnered with a charity called Cards to Kids okay. uh, to collect some cards here and uh, we've been blown away with what collectors have been donating so I'm going to let you talk to John who uh, runs that charity. Very cool. Thank you very much Chris yeah. and we'll catch up with you later. Take care guys. Hey John, um, go ahead and, and tell us tell us your first and last name and, and what you do. Um, so I'm John Mackowitz and so I started a charity called Cards to Kids. Or, Very cool. And we collect sports cards. Um, you can hear from collecting mainly hockey, but okay. um, then we donate them to kids in hospitals okay. and at boys and girls clubs. Um, and this is really cool because we repackage all the cards we get. Uh huh. And so I mean, all the kids get the joy of opening a pack themselves. So th this is something that you started. It was your initiative. You 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 began this whole program. And what what um, what what sparked uh, sparked your interest in doing this? How, how did you come up with the idea? Um, so I'm a huge fan of sports cards myself. I've been collecting them since I was like five. Uh -huh. um, and I really just wanted other kids to be able to have the same opportunity to enjoy sports cards as I have. Mm -hmm. um, and especially kids in hospitals and yep. at boys and girls clubs. Yeah. They're well, I mean, I just want to get yeah. the... Uh, yeah, it seems like yeah. there, there's sort of an abstract uh, healing quality to, to doing something as enjoyable as, as collecting sports yeah. cards. Yeah, and so I, I'm sure that you've experienced uh, quite a bit of joy just, you know, seeing, seeing the kids um, that are in their, you know, these conditions in the hospitals yeah. are ripping open cards. So, right. yeah. Is, it, is this your first time here at the Toronto Expo? Or? Um, this is. Very cool. Very cool, John. Yeah, it's been great so far. Yeah, awesome. Well, uh, what, what's the coolest thing uh, that that you've been able to participate in in this show so far? Um, we've been getting tons and tons of cards. Like, I, don't know, I didn't expect this many. It was yeah. pretty awesome. And we're going to donate all these cards that we've gotten here to the Hospital for Sick Kids in Toronto. Very week. cool, John. How, about how many do you think that, that are here? It's pretty countless, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, I don't know. we got a bunch of huge boxes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, quite, that's quite a few. Right. And um, uh, how long has the program been running? Um, just over a year. Just over a year? Yeah. Well, I wish you many, 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 many more years uh, at doing this. And uh, it's a great thing that you're doing. And it's it's very awesome to see a young guy like yourself getting involved. And I uh, can't wait to, to see what you do in the future with it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Right. Take it easy.